after they're done getting into it. All right, now we're going. All right. So it's Anito versus Taz. Oh, this is a, this All right, so I think is the the real winner here. Yeah. Uh, Lucas being a really good character at keeping people out. It's gonna be uh, maybe a little challenging against uh, a character as fast as Sonic. Yeah. And such a, a player as skilled as Anita. But he's doing a pretty good job so far. Oh. Okay, this audio is like fucking me. Um. I gotta say that Taz has actually been playing this a lot better than like expected to. He's got oh, Ooh, okay. He's gonna catch that spot dodge. Yeah. Really, really early kill. The hard punish caught from Sonito. Yeah, I, I really like how uh, he really committed to that call out. Yeah. Now this is where things can be hard for Lucas because now you have to play against Sonic with the lead. And Luke right. is not a character that's known for his ability to just go in. And right now you see Sunito starting to build that lead. This is where Taz might start to crumble. All right, Taz has done some pretty uh, all right ledge trapping so far. No. Yeah. Maybe if you can just get him off stage, keep him there. That I'm might really be a good to way see, to take uh, some of these stocks. The Lucas back in session. Oh, here comes the up, up airs. All right, yeah. Sonito's so good at catching landings and Sonic's extreme speed. Back throw. Not a kill throw on Sonic anymore. So Sonito's going to have to find a different way to take that stock. Right now, he's totally lapped Taz at percent. Despite this close start, this is just where Sonic excels. Wait quite long enough to let it rip. Ooh, but the floor right. are gonna come out. Gonna gonna finish up the stocks, but has a very wounded second stock there. Gonna use a ledge to reset neutral. All right, so there you go. Sonito up an entire stock on Taz here in game one. And right now I think Sonito's just gonna back off and let Taz come to him, but. Taz is coming to him. Ta Taz is coming. <laughs> oh my. Okay, that, that may that, have been a little yeah. bit over ambitious. A little, a little greedy there, but he doesn't get punished too hard for it. Well, for his record, Taz has done a great job of just hitting Sunito this stock. That is true. But right now, Sunito with the stage control this is where things can get bad. Sunito, of course. I do our uh, Area 51 member. Yeah. I, de I definitely do respect uh, how Taz is choosing when to stall off stage and when yeah. to like try to actually quickly return to stage. All right, there you go. But the Taz drop down forward air, it. it's going to be a two stock from Sunito to open up the set. This is, uh, got our good friend Offbeat here for a second, uh, checking something out on the stream. And it is interesting.
right. Here we are. Getting into game two right now. Back oh, to okay. I was going to say, Taz doing a pretty good job. It's Anita almost taking the stock right there. Yeah, almost, almost even, oh, that's, that's, that's going to really be it. unfortunate. Yeah. That's got to be a damage to morale for Taz. Still uh, got some good damage on Sunito. Definitely uh, did some work with his first stock. He just got to do a little bit more with his next two stocks if he wanted to take this game. All right, so what's... Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to convert there. Good job by Sunito getting off the ledge there, getting around Taz's ledge trapping. Okay. The punish. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're not, not going to be able to go above ledge like ledge. that against yeah. a player as talented as Sunito. He's going to punish you every time. Sunito up three stocks to one now, and this is looking like a bit of a wash, I might say. But, Okay. I wonder if okay. he uh, missed the ledge or if he was trying to go for a like hit with the upbeat. I don't know. I feel like the risk reward was definitely not in Sunil's favor if that is what he was trying to do. So I'm led to believe that would be a misinput. But now here's Sunito pressing his advantage state. Yeah, this is looking a lot like game one. All right, but now here comes Taz. He's got a chance to make something happen, but not going to connect that down smash with the ledge. Okay, Nair to forward air. Okay. What's the answer here? Good air dodge. Yeah. And Taz really committing to that, giving up the ledge trapping. Now Sonito back in the same position he was before, really. Didn't really lose anything from being in the offstage encounter. In fact, now he's got stage control, but no. Taz is going to just fight his way out. Oh. Taz is uh. playing well. Making good use of that Zare, interrupting uh, Sonido's approaches. But, oh, one more of those, and I believe this will be the set. Especially with all this rage. There's the up air, though, so even stocks, but Kaz got a long way to go if he wants to put this at a game three scenario. Well, a long way to go, preferably as soon as possible. So uh, being at 120 now oh, yeah. against a player as good as Sonido is very scary. Sonic, not the character with the most kill options in the world in this game. He's going to have to rely on one of those harder punishes. Now, the back throw is not a kill option at his disposal. Ooh, with that, that down smash, not going to be it. But no, Taz doing a great job right now. Porter not might letting do it even from mid stage. Sonito though. get what he wants going. Oh, okay. This game is. Falling back into a position where Taz can realistically so win. All right. And Taz makes some noise here in Buccaneer Brawl tonight. Roughing Tennessee. Oh. That'll be it. And Taz takes All game right, two. Taz popping off. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was a. Uh, that was a good pop off. <laughs> Yeah, he really brought that back. Yeah, he did. That was, that was amazing playing by Taz. Yeah, it was being really safe. Sonito. It paid off. He wasn't letting Sonito lame him out. He was just able to consistently apply the pressure to Sonito. And uh, if you can keep doing that for all of his stocks, then uh, that would be eliminate optimal. Sonito there. So we'll see what Sonito's adaption is here going into game three. How does he to pick? Now take him to town and city, get some more uh, space to work with. Lucas. All right. And, uh, okay. All right, All right. both players just taking a minute to cool off. Here we go. Game three now, Sonito. Game three. Game three. 
So Nito versus Taz starting off really even right now. I mean, we've seen this before. Yeah. Taz going for that PK Thunder, yeah, not getting anything out of it. Thunder. Sonic gonna have so many ways to mix up how he gets back to ledge that's often I'd say it's worth going for the ledge trap yeah. over the edge guard. But uh, alas, I'm not here on the winner's side against Sonito. So what do I know? Oh yeah, there's oh. two frame. Sonic's so good at that, that forward smash, very active. Here we go, here comes the big, no, okay. So now Taz gotta get off this platform. Be rather rough for him. Oh, okay. And we can get another. Yeah, right now, so this is looking really similar to game one where Sonito just has really been able to control space and how Taz wants to get yeah. off the ledge and keep him there. But there's going to be an okay. opening for Taz. Can Finally getting back to center stage. He still hasn't been able to get anything yet. Reset to neutral now. Let's see what Taz has in store for Sonito in this game three. Does he have any more tricks up his sleeve? Oh, no, that's not going to be it. No. Not gonna be itchy. He's gonna eat a force smash for trouble. It's not gonna kill quite yet. All right. Ooh, okay. Ooh, and not, not the greatest ledge tripper we've seen there. Um, no. But all right. Oh, the oh, that could out. be it this is for Lucas. the stock. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. So Sonito up three stocks to one. It's looking really serious of the game one, you might say. It's looks like Sonito has made all the adaptions necessary. You know, Taz showed him his entire bag of tricks in that game, too, on route to that comeback. But well, here right. we go. Taz taking the stock. We, we saw him come back from something similar to this lead. last game. So let's see if Taz has anything left in the tank. All right. All right here now comes would the be the time to use it. Now would be a good time to use it, indeed. What a colossal upset would this be. It's such a huge for Taz if he was to upset Sonito, one of the best in Georgia, one of the best players in the world. In terms of like talking, you know, top 50, top 60 in the world. Yeah, something like that on the PGR. Such a right. saying for the state. But let's uh, get caught for ourselves right now because Sonito is showing us why he's the number okay. two seed, but Really good, aggressive thunder finally working out for. Oh, no, not gonna be able to get it there. No. He's oh, a, there's the back throw. All right. All right. Last stock. Can Taz do it the again? Crowd getting excited for the Tennessee favorite. Oh, the four air almost gonna take it, but. Gonna have to make it back. Here. Here. Gotta make it hard. back. Uh, oh. 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 Okay. All right. All right. Here's. All right. Such a high pressure situation for Taz right now. Another How does he react? Situation. Oh, the runoff there. And Sonito going I'll to clutch out game three. And they give you a hug. Oh, okay. God. That's Sonito good. clutching out game three to move on a bracket, but Taz definitely giving him a run for his money there. And I mean, what a performance by Taz. Even though he lost, you know, I'm sure he can't I, help I was impressed with Taz.